Well, feeding the families of fishermen stuck without a job because of the oil disaster. We're going to meet some folks who are heading up an organization that's putting food on the table for those who need a little help right now. That's next. All right, in today's Mission Possible, Angel Food Ministries delivering 80,000 pounds of food to Gulf Coast victims who have been out of work because of the oil disaster. I want to bring in Pastor Joe Wingo, who is live for us from Pensacola, where he's down there doing this work. And I was just talking to you, Pastor, in the break there. You said you actually fed 40,000 families? Yes, sir. That was just today? Yes, sir. We did that. Started this morning about 8 o'clock and finished up, um, oh, I guess about 12, 1230, and just all kinds of wonderful volunteers from Gateway Community Church and um, just service agencies all around the uh, Pensacola area here just uh, working together to feed these families. Now, where is all the, uh, the food coming from? How are you collecting? How are you getting word out that you need the food? Well, actually, Angel Food Ministries is a program that feeds uh, families all across the nation and in 44 states, actually, and our host sites, which are generally churches, mostly churches, about mm -hmm. 6,000 of them, we all decided that we wanted to work together to get some food down here to help these people in their time of need, and uh, we're just happy that we can be a blessing to them. Now, times are tough for uh, so many people across this country right now. It seems like everyone, uh, so many people are in need, um, but I wonder, even for you guys, before this Gulf disaster, did you all see any kind of a drop-off? Was it tougher for you all to get donations, whether that was monetary donations or food donations? You know, sometimes just supplies are down, even for uh, the nonprofit groups like yours. Well, TJ, actually, Angel Food Ministries operates a little bit different into the mm -hmm. fact that we've been, we're a food feeding program that puts together a fresh box of food, and we charge $30 for it, but you generally get 60 70 or higher in value, and we work with about 6,000 churches across 44 states to get it out. And then what we also do is collect from these same churches that are partners of ours. And uh, when we come to you know, natural disaster situations where we can come and, and give this food out. So we kind of do a little of both, if you will. Now, what, uh, I guess, what kind of, kind of hit you all? Uh, I guess, when did that light bulb go off, if you will? Uh, because we have seen so, many, so much coverage of what's happening to the families um, down in the Gulf Coast. And, you know, some of the simplest things, like a meal, maybe we don't think about, helping out with. So when did that light bulb go off for you all that, uh, that this was a need that needed to be served? Well, we kept, you, you, you folks in the media doing a wonderful job of reporting what's going on in these areas, devastated areas. And I think what happened, our churches and our groups and families came together and said, you know, we need to reach out and touch these displaced families. Um, this is like a Katrina, whatever. This is a natural disaster and we need to come together and help folks. And I, I just think it's gratifying to see our country come together when we see other parts of the country in need. It's almost like one big family. Let's come together and help. And I know if we, we all work together, we can make it happen. Now, how many locations? You're in Pensacola now, but uh, do you have efforts or uh, plans underway to try to hit different cities and serve different, uh, different communities along the Gulf Coast? Well, actually, we do. We have a number of just hundreds of sites across uh, the Gulf Coast. And if you will, if you'll just look on our web at angelfoodministries.com, uh, you, you can see about ordering the food and helping uh, out in these disasters. But again, it's, I just think it's neat that uh, when different parts of the country see different other parts of the country in need, and uh, we, we just uh, pull all the folks together and say, hey, let's go help, and that's what we did today. Well, We've done the same thing in natural disasters like Katrina and you know, the other uh, storm and ravaged parts, tornadoes, et cetera, and we just love reaching out trying to help. Well, Pastor Joe Wingo in Pensacola, uh, I know you're heading back up to Georgia where, where it's home for you, but you're down there doing the work. Sir, we appreciate you taking the time, and uh, good work you're doing, and you're right. Good words of encouragement for a lot of people out there, just having people come together and help each other out in this time of need. Uh, Pastor, we appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. Good luck with your efforts down there. Thank you, sir. All right. And you can find out. He said it there. I'll, re I'll say it to you again. You can find out more about the organization. Go to their website, angelfoodministries.com.